to construct a parallelogram. To construct a parallelogram is quite simple. Constructing a parallelogram. So I'm going to construct a parallelogram such that AB is 8 centimeter, AD is 6 centimeter, and angle DAB is 60 degrees. So we know how that should be looking. So let's do that. So first we would draw our horizontal line AB that is supposed to be 8 centimeter. So not going to take any assumptions. Let's measure. I think that is eight centimeter. And so let me check. Just to check and make sure that is eight. Not quite eight, just a little bit above eight. I'm going to push this back a little bit. So that is now eight centimeter. And we're going to label that now as a, B, always label the points, just label the end points. That is now A, B. So this is our point A, B, and this is eight centimeters. A, B is eight centimeters. Now that we have A, B is eight centimeters, the next thing it says is the angle at A is six degrees. So you're going to take out your compass and you're going to construct a 60 degree angle. All right. So to construct a 60 degree angle. angle what I want you to do first and foremost is I want you to measure the length of the swing that you're going to use and make sure it is six centimeters. So what you're going to do is Let's rotate this ruler so it's back to zero degrees, just a horizontal line. All right, there it is. Now we need to make sure that we measure out six centimeters. So to measure out six centimeters, you open up, open up, open up. This is six centimeters. Yep, this is six. So we're gonna swing an arc from A. This is not quite six yet. Let's go a little bit more. Yep, this is six centimeters. So we're gonna swing an arc from A. Then this point of intersection right here with the horizontal line, we're gonna swing another arc using the same arc swing. Swing another arc. Now that is now 60. That is now 60 degrees. And the length of the line should be six centimeters. So this line will be six centimeters. Nice, this is six centimeters. Now, if you don't believe it, you can use your ruler and measure it. I'm going to take out another ruler and rotate it. I rotate it 60 degrees. Let's go for 60. This is 59. That can work. This needs to be six centimeters. So just to show you, there it is. It's six centimeter approximately. So good, we can throw away that ruler now. All right, so this is six centimeters. And remember, it's angle D, A, B. So this is D. This right here is D. This point is D. Now what you're gonna do is, now if this angle is 60 degrees, then what we know is that the next angle out here is gonna be 120. Right, because we know that co-interior angles sum to 180. So this angle right here is 120. So we're gonna construct a 120 degree angle from B. So to construct a 120 degree angle from B, 
option B. It's very simple. What I want you to do is first extend the line AB. Just extend the line AB a little bit. And then you're pretty much going to construct a 60 degree angle where B is. So you're going to go here and make sure that your compass is six centimeters open. Is this six? That's about six, right? Yeah, this is six. So I'm going to extend the line just a little bit more. So having difficulty extending this line, let's try again. Extending this line. All right, now what you're gonna do is swing an arc from B. Then you're gonna move it over to the point where it intersect now, the horizontal line. And you're gonna swing another arc from right here. Let's swing our arc right there. Now I promise you that that is six centimeters. So move your compass for now. And what you're gonna do is draw a line from B to this point right here, all right? And where these two, you're gonna just draw a straight line now from over D to this intersection point. All right, and that is your parallelogram. I guarantee you this angle is 120. Oops, my bad. Wanna make sure this right here is 120. This is 120, 120 degrees. And then you're gonna draw your straight line now from D over to this point. And that's how you construct a parallelogram. All you need to do now is label this intersecting point as point C, label this point as point C. And that's it. That's how you construct a parallelogram. Maybe they wouldn't give you 60 degrees, maybe they give you 45. You know, this would be 135. I don't know, whatever the case may be. That's how you construct a parallelogram. Nice and easy, soft. Before you go, make sure to always label the sides that are given. And we, need, we know the parallelogram have two pair of parallel sides. So if you want, you can indicate with an arrow to show them that this side is parallel to this side. And you can tell them that this side over here is parallel to this side. It's always good when you show them that, that you understand what's happening with a parallelogram. I do hope these videos were helpful. Stay tuned for more.